Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound KIO3. Now here's a little trick. If you see that you have three or more different elements in your compound, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. In this case, we do have three different elements. We have K, potassium, we have I for iodine, and then we have O for oxygen. So it's always easiest to find the polyatomic first and then work from there. But remember, polyatomics are never on the periodic table, so you have to memorize them. I wrote down the polyatomic that we're going to be using today, but just use flashcards or keep writing it out just to memorize these. Um, they will come back, I promise. Polyatomics will never ever fade in chemistry. So IO3, which is always a negative one charge, you guys should know the charge as well, is always called iodate. So here is the polyatomic, the whole IO3. The only element that's left is potassium. And if we look at where it is on the periodic table, potassium is right here, right? K is right here. It's in group one. All of group one are metals except for hydrogen. So potassium is a metal. Now let's just name it out. The metal name will always stay exactly the same. So potassium K will just stay potassium. K. Let's see what I did there. Didn't even mean to do it on purpose. <laughs> um, then the polyatomic ion, that name always stays the same as well. That's why you got to memorize them, okay? And IO3 is iodate. So I just write iodate. Since this is ionic, just make sure that, we, you know, do we need a Roman numeral or not? And we don't because potassium is not in this transition block. We only need Roman numerals for transition metals. And that's it. So K, IO3, is just potassium, iodate, and there you go. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. If you want to help us out, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome, and thank you so much for that. I hope you guys are studying hard. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.